All right, guys, I'm Rabir. And I'm Matt. And this is Sound Like on Addison's TV. Today, we're going to be trying to sound like a tool again. Yes, we are. But this time, with no budget. Indeed, and I think the reason we've decided to revisit Adam Jones at all is because we thought we got the ambient kind of cleaner tones right. But not the high gain tones. Yeah. So we're going to try and hopefully with no budget we can get some really, really high fidelity, really quality good amps, get a yeah. really good bass, bass line tone. I reckon we might have a good challenge on our hands because Anderson's don't do diesel at this time mm -hmm. and Adam Jones is Famously, he plays a couple of diesels yeah. with a vintage Marshall kind of three amp rig. So we're going to improvise on that front, but also we're going to get Matt to play some bass to put some of the riffs into context. Yes, yeah, so which should help you, hopefully, see what they sound like and how close we got. Let's do it. Adam Jones uses a Les Paul Custom. It's a silver burst. He does. Um, we're going to try and find a Les, a Les Paul, Paul Custom. Custom. Over here. Yeah, there aren't that many. In fact, the only two I can see... There's one there, and the other black one there. So, I mean, what do we do? Do we go... Okay, so here's a question. Okay. Do we go for a burst, or do we go for a colour that's closer? <laughs> I know it Should sounds like, not looks like. Well, let's walk us from either way, I'll get us close. I'm going to go with this. I, I love that burst, I've got to say. It's beautiful guitar. Nice and heavy. And, to be honest, it's a straight. It's just a straight-up Les Paul Custom. There's no extra yeah. modifications yeah. done to it, so... I mean... Apart from the it's, colour. It's a lovely guitar. That is and lovely. If, it's anything, if this one's anything to go by, this one's 3,000, nearly 3,400 pounds. So we're suitably busting the bank. Considerably. Yes. So we've been racking our brains to work out how we get this... Diesel Marshall hybrid. Yeah, without using diesel amps. A little birdie tells us that diesel do a VH4 drive pedal, mm -hmm. um, which we have in stock. So yes. we're thinking of blending that with a nice chunky Marshall. Yeah, and I think the best sort of, because he uses a 76 bass, I mean, uh, it's, it's a, like a bass, it's a bass amp. super bass Marshall yeah. amp, and the diesel VH4s. So we need the amp to be more of the gain and then we blend that diesel turn in with it. So J700? The J700, yeah. It was either that, yeah, it was Jubilee, the choice, yeah. JTM or JVM. JVM's too modern, yeah. JCM's too clean, yeah. Jubilee's a shout, but I don't know if there's one in stock, and JCM 800 we know we have in stock. We can try it, Let's, I yeah. think we should give it a go with the diesel. Um, we'll also, in this handy box here, I have a one of the Palmer load boxes, which will mean we can crank it, mm -hmm. which hopefully give it a push and get us closer, closer to the recorded sound. And let's not go deaf in the process. Pedals wise, he uses Boss, I think it's a DD3. Yeah. So I don't see any point in getting something overqualified when it's specifically totally a Boss pedal. So we'll get we'll get a Boss delay. Yep. We'll get the diesel VH4 drive pedal. Yep. Um, I'm thinking of getting, because he's got quite a thick doubly kind of sound, let's try the, the TC Mimic. The Mimic, yeah, which essentially, I think it, it adds, it doubles it up and then one slightly behind the other, so yeah. it sounds, sounds like And two. you can choose the amount of doubles you want, so one overdub, two or three, yeah. okay. tightness or whatever. Perfect. Um, apart from that... A bit of reverb maybe? Yes, that sounds good. So, I mean, I reckon if we get the DD3, oh, okay. DD6, or even DD500, whatever we can get a hold of, there's no budget restrictions, so it doesn't really matter. We're going, let's go find some pedals and bring them back. So, just having a little dig to find out the pedals we can get hold of. Uh, Adam Jones uses a CE5, which is the chorus ensemble, so there's one right there. We're going to get a CE5, we're going to get a DD3 if we can, because Again, as I said before, why get something more qualified when you could just have the actual pedal? He also uses the DOD or DOD uh, EQ pedal, which is really useful. So, gonna get that as well. Palm load box. I found a Chorus C5, it's the same one. DD3 uses the same, and we're gonna get a, probably a, the MXR 10 band EQ. Sounds good. And the TC Mimic. And a new, a, we need a reverb. We do need reverb. Well, we could go Boss RV6, or we get something a bit tastier, something a bit more boutique. I'm thinking maybe we get, in addition to the DD3, we get the Dispatch Master by Earthquaker because it's a reverb and a delay and you can kind of individual control. It gives us more flexibility. 
Okay, that sounds good to me. Should we go be tools? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Sound like tools. We're back in the video room. We are indeed, this time, sounding like tool without a budget. Yes, indeed. And I must say, for me personally, this has been one of the most fulfilling by busting banks we've done. When you have a theory about how it might go down, yeah. and then it goes down, and the theory's correct, yeah. it is very, very cool. It is, and on that note, we should just go straight into how straight we managed in. to do it. Guitar. Guitar. Les Paul Custom. So this is different to the one in the shop, yeah. just a note. We found out that was secondhand, and as you know, we don't do secondhand gear on this show. No. Nope. So essentially same guitar, but in black. Yes. Um, Les Paul Custom, and it's a beautiful guitar. It is, it's exactly what you'd expect. I mean, Les Paul Custom is a specific model guitar, and that's what this is, so there's nothing special about it other than the fact it's a great guitar. Yeah. Um, but it is exactly as it is, and I suppose Adam Jones's is, a Les Paul Custom as well. I don't know if he, he's done any special mods to his, but he's got the silver burst drop. He does, going on. yeah, yeah, and he's played that for years. Yeah. So amplifier wise, now this was the little hunch that we had and I'm pleased to say that it, I think we just nailed it. Before we even tell you what it is, right, yeah. well it is, we've got a JC Mate 100, yes. but it's the diesel VH4 combo that we said in the shop. Yeah, um, it so worked. let's just try it with like yeah. straight in. This is JC Mate 100 with a hot plate on it, so we're actually running the uh, master at 25%, that is... The pre-gain on the amplifier and the master itself is over halfway. So yeah, if fine. this wasn't hot plated, it would be so loud. But obviously it gives you the more saturated tones, yeah. pushes the tubes more and um, hopefully sounds closer. 412 is greenback loaded as well, yeah. just so you know. So yeah, this is the guitar as is. <laughs> Which is a killer sound as it is. It sounds great. It really does. So, as Matt pointed out, we, this is the diesel VH4. Yeah. It adds just that little bit more, gives it a bit more of a chew, and it's the right barky gain sound that Adam Jones and it's, uses. It's so much more direct. Yes. It's, yeah, it's such a good sound. We chuck the mimic in there. So if we bang the mimic in, actually, tell you what, I'll play in the new frame. Yep, yep. So. so 
So it's a really subtle effect, but it just does help fill it out that little bit more. And it's worth saying that when you hear it dry and then you throw the pedal in, at first you go, wow, that sounds weird, yeah. um, which you might have done just then. But once you hear it in a mix with the bass or in a track and it's yeah. just one guitar, it does give you that double track feel. They immediately sound more chunky because it feels doubled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, well, it's a great, great addition. Um, and obviously, given that we've got no budget, we can just throw yeah. whatever we like in the mix this time. And actually, I should point out here, interestingly, we had the CE5, the chorus ensemble, we had it on by accident for the whole time we played through like like Aralis and, <laughs> and uh, the other ones, uh, like Parable and stuff. So may as well have it with the Mimic and the Diesel and then we'll throw in the course to see if it yeah. sounds better. So here we go. <laughs> Is that on? Yeah, it's on, but obviously I'm checking the setting to see, yeah. what it, see how much it was influencing the sound. So... Yeah, it's better without it. Yeah. And then without anything. I think what's worth pointing out is, on its own, like when we're just playing now, it actually sounds nicer without the Mimic. Yeah. But in context, I think you need the Mimic to get, that, to get the width. But this VH4 to be fair, that saved us, yeah. and we were, it's one of those things we never ever know. No. And we got it on the basis of uses diesel. Yes. And to be fair, I think if you got one of these and got a Marshall, even a different Marshall, yeah. you'd, it'd be, it's great for that sound. We didn't use the DD500. We didn't, it's a, obviously a really expensive, nice, super deluxe delay pedal. Um, the Dispatch Master is what we yeah, used. Yeah, it's got, well, to be fair, the Dispatch, Dispatch Master has reverb and delay built in. Mm. Um, we like to call it the mismatch pasta, but yeah, um, the mismatch just, pasta. <laughs> and the cool thing to point out, so because you've got control over the reverb, the you've got the mix, you've got the amount of the feedback of the delay, you've got the time of the delay, and then reverb works in terms of decay time. Let me show you how we did the beginning of Parable. It was actually really easy. We just we didn't even need the delay part of the dispatch for this. So if I that's the kind of reverb sound we used. I then rolled my tone nearly all the way off and the volume halfway up a little bit and then just played like. pretty much gives you that feel, you know, mm. it's well close. And then the beginning of Lateralis is on the neck pickup um, with the volume kind of rolled down and the mix not too high on the Dispatch Master, but you'll see what I mean. Cool, um, and just to let you know, I was playing a Spectre bass here, which you can see here, which doing a is bit of the old Justin Chancellor. a beautiful thing, hopefully doing the song some justice, and not- That's not a bass player, just so you know. I'm He's not, I am, I am just filling the, filling the space. I think you did a good job. Um, thank you. Well, this, yeah, this is beautiful, and these sound amazing, and to be honest, I, I really like the way they play, great necks. 
Um, that was running into the B7K by Dark Glass, that's the bass pedal down here, and into our trusty old friend, the, the Fender Rumble 100. I must say, even though this isn't a sound like Justin Chancellor, the bass tone that you managed to get for well, like would... some of the excerpts was well close for me. <laughs> I think if you had a slightly different bass guitar, because I think they have a very specific tone, had it have been, because I know that Justin Chanter uses like a custom bass, yeah. that would that would be, because the sound of the bass is bang on. It's just lovely. So there you go, that's the bass. Yeah, sorry. It's really, it, these are great, try them out. They're really fun to play. But yeah, I guess to round, just my summary is the star of the show for this video has been the VH4. Um, well, and the, and and the, the JCM 800. 800. Yeah. So, you, yeah. But that's it. That's Sound Like Adam Jones tool by Busting the Bank. Yes, it is. So let us know how you think we did. Um, also, let us know who you'd like to see us try and sound like next. Yes. All the links for the gear is in the description box. Yes, it is. And, and as always, Matt's going to say something. Yes. I, as always, I'm going to tell you that I'm Matt. Oh, and I'm Rabia. And he's Rabia. So this has been Sounds Like on Anderson's TV. Peace out. See you later.